During the French Revolution, Napoleon was a great general and a terror on the battlefield. But this little dude, he was only five foot nine. So it's only natural that sociologists and psychologists named the Napoleon Complex for him. What's the Napoleon Complex? AKA Little Man Syndrome. That's where a little short dude becomes overly aggressive and overly domineering to make up for his little short statute. And you're not going to believe where most of these little men work. In law enforcement. Hey guys, it's Carolina. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to look at little man syndrome and how it affects the job performance of police. But before we do that, hit that thumbs up. Because that's what helps get this video passed around. Because remember, it's all about the clicks and the views. Because the clicks and the views bring awareness, supporters, and change. So let's get busy and look at the three examples I pulled of men that have little man syndrome that are cops. Not all police officers that are short have little man syndrome, but I think this one certainly does. He's very domineering and very aggressive because this is the second time he stopped this man in less than 10 days. And watch how he looks at the boy in the back seat when he caught him without the seatbelt. This guy definitely has little man syndrome. Let me know in the comments it if you agree or disagree with me. Later, I still got the vehicle violation is not harassment sir mm. i do need you to roll this window down a little bit so i can check your meter so i can check your window with my meter you can see it right there sir i do have a window tent meter okay. right here this will not i can i need you to okay. it came with the car okay it doesn't make it legal sir this has been this has been tested State law requires 50% or greater sunlight. Right now, you are showing 23% sunlight through your Put it back here where it's not dirty. <clears throat> All right, let me go ahead. Okay. And I appreciate you videotaping this as well as I'm videotaping this as well. Oh, because you're welcome. Right now, you were being non-compliant. State law requires... I'm being compliant. I, I'm tired of being pulled over by you all the time. You actually signed documentation mm -hmm. saying upon request of a law enforcement officer that requests your driver's license, you will provide that. I gave it and to you. And also there is case law that states mm -hmm. that upon request of a law enforcement officer to exit the vehicle, you will exit as well as anybody and everybody in the vehicle. That is case law. Pennsylvania versus MIMS, ma'am. And I appreciate you taping that because oh, it's on. Okay. you're welcome. Okay, you're good until September this uh, this year. Correct. I appreciate that, sir. So, again, so why did you turn your vehicle off? Was it because of uh, the defective exhaust or so you could hear me? No, okay. I didn't. I didn't need it. Well, sir, can you go ahead and start your vehicle for me? Okay. It idles hard. Okay. See, that's under 79 decibels. I, no, sir. I didn't yes, say. Sir. sir, I did not stop you for loud exhaust. I stopped you for a defective exhaust. That's different. Okay, I will be back with you. Yeah, right. One, two, three, four. How old is the uh, child in the back seat? Why is that relevant? I'm sorry. Why, Why is, that is that relevant? relevant? Because in Ohio, any passenger from the age of eight to fourteen in any seat in a motor vehicle must have a seat belt on. He does not have a seatbelt on. Okay, I didn't okay. know that. I'm he, sorry? I didn't know that he had yes, it sir, on. Yes, sir, it's a law. I, didn't, okay. I know it's a law, yes. Okay, he does not have a seatbelt on. I mm -hmm. hope you're recording this because he does not have a seatbelt on. All right, yes. That's child in danger, sir. So, you're being cited today for one to ten violation as well as transport, transporting a child failure to be secured in a seat belt as far as your exhaust the law states it's not a decibel only it's a defective or modified exhaust you okay. can buy any type of exhaust and put that on there but if it's defective if it's hanging down it's called defective exhaust so again i don't 
don't have to show. I don't have to tell you who I am because it's on a citation. I don't have to call my supervisor. I am a captain here. I don't have to give you my badge number by state law as well as our policy that says I don't have to provide you that. But I will provide you that because it's on the citation. Is my as information well correct on that? I'm sorry? Is my information correct this time on that? Well, it's whatever's in the BMV, sir. This is automated through the BMV. If there's a problem with it, then you might want to talk to BMV because everything on here is automated through BMV. No, I get okay. my address for my life. Oh, yeah. This guy definitely has little man syndrome. Now let's look at our next officer, shall we? Another symptom of little man syndrome is they get their feelings hurt very easily. Let's see what happens here. Then you decide, does he have little man syndrome or not? Oh, and he's not even in uniform. Stop. No. No. Can I yes, ask sir. why I've been pulled over? Sorry, maintain lane. Swerve in your lane. My name's Sure Bull. The state police have your license registration with you? Yeah, I do. All that right, was, let me get that. That was actually my fault. I was grabbing for something. And okay. Then, yeah, but... you were flicking me the bird when I was going off the off ramp there? Any yeah, reason is, for that? Is there a law against that? Uh, actually, if other people see it, it is. Well, what, you have your license what's registration? What's the law? Can you show me the statute? Do you have your license registration? I do. Okay. Let me is there a lawful reason for why you pulled me yeah. over? Do you have your license? Yeah. Are Are you on duty? Yeah, I am. You know those lights aren't for pulling people over. You know those yeah, are emergency good, lights. Right Thank you. I think so. Is it the two or the three? What? All right, sir. Sorry. I need to see. You have your license? Yeah, I do. Okay. It's right here. All right. I'm gonna get it for me. Sure. If you give me a lawful reason why you pulled me over. All right. Mm. I do apologize. You're just. Play with the wheel or something what no happened? no she was reaching I for was something reaching. and hit the f wheel okay. and what then i saw you get right up uh, on my ass like an found. asshole and that's why i sent uh, you the bird I'll because be Stafford real soon bud all right i'm gonna give you a warning this time i'll catch up with you all right i don't give a okay you can go see whoever you want dickhead the, the reason for you you're the reason i don't because he's got nothing you're looking at people's personal vehicles. Yeah. Which is not suspicious at all. <laughs> you don't do that ever? Uh, not when I'm not, you know, fighting crime or anything. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Just walking okay. through parking lots? No, we don't do that. Can I, uh, can I get your name and badge number, please? Also, Clapham 291. Now, okay. can I ask you why you're searching or looking in people's personal vehicles? No. Well, you can ask, but I'm not going to answer. So, okay, but so then I do have a question. No, I'm not going to answer any questions. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. Yep, this guy's got it too. You notice that he got his feelings hurt and refused to answer any questions. And as you watch a little further, you're going to see that he acts too big for his britches, which is another characteristic. I'm surprised that this kid doesn't start crying. Oh, uh, let's see what happens. So. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? Doing so good. I came out and I saw him. What's your name and badge number, sir? So I saw him recording inside people's personal vehicles, not marked units, mm -hmm. personal vehicles. Okay. So to me, that's suspicious. So right now okay. you're detained. I'm detained. So can figure out what's going on. Okay. Okay. So all right. what are you uh, doing? You might want to get a sergeant before you do all that. No, I don't have to. Okay. So why are you looking at people? I'm requesting a supervisor right now. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go grab a supervisor yep. while I ask you okay. investig uh, investigatory questions. Hey, we got a okay. captain right here. Hey, yep, that's right. Hey, Cap. Awesome. So again, why are you looking at people's personal vehicles? I don't answer questions, man. Am I suspected are, of committing yes. a crime? Yes. You have reasonable, articulable suspicion? Yes. Okay, so what crime? Well, I, well I'm assuming that you're either A, looking in people's vehicles, personal vehicles, to okay. possibly take shit out of them. Okay. So that's a crime. That's called theft. So you're, so you're suspecting me of theft right now? I have enough reason to believe that you could be, yes. That I could be what? About to commit theft. About okay. to commit a crime. Okay. okay? So... so why are you looking in people's personal vehicles? Again, I don't answer questions. Okay. You know? Well, I'm telling you to answer this question. You're okay. under investigation for something. All right. Because you're cool. being detained. Okay. Okay. So, why are you looking in people's personal vehicles? Um, I don't answer questions. Okay, you can hang tight then. Yep. And we're going to have a sergeant come out and... That's fine. The captain is right there. So. Yeah, well, he's not on duty at the moment, so okay, I don't want to well, take him on his off Pretty sure time. he's smart enough to tell you that... Uh, Nothing wrong here. Okay, you stand right here then. Can you stand by with him? Okay. This is Terre Haute Police Department. You go ahead and get his name and state of birth. He's detained still, so you can get that in touch. 
No, you're not getting that info. Just wanted to let you know. What's that? Hey, it's Officer Man. Okay, we'll do. How you doing, man? This is Officer Man from one of our first videos ever. Um, let's see. You are you gonna? Not tell him that there's no crime being committed here. I mean, he's detaining me without reasonable, articulable suspicion. You are filming inside of personal vehicles. Okay. On a public lot. That's right. Is that not suspicious? A normal person would a normal person be walking around filming? Is suspicion a crime? Okay. No, but it's to detain people. Yep. Okay. So you're not, because you're, not you're under detainment. You okay. have to provide me your name, date of birth. Okay. Okay. So, so what's your name? So what's, what's going to happen what's if I don't give you my name? Then you can be under arrest for okay. failure to provide your. So you're gonna, to you're gonna, identify. you're. I'm. I if I give it, it's all under need, duress. All I need you is your name and date of birth. Okay. Okay. So just again, I'm just making it clear. If I don't give it, you're going to arrest me, right? For failure to identify. That's a okay. crime, right? That's a crime, right? Okay. Failure only, I, only if another crime has been committed. See, failure to identify is a because, secondary charge. Because you are being detained. Okay. You have to provide that information for me. Why are you looking at people's cars? I don't answer questions, ma'am, but I will tell you that failure to identify is a secondary charge. So if I'm not being charged with a crime or if I haven't charged. committed a No, it's a secondary. Do you know what that means? Right it means that I if I've committed a crime, I'm yeah, required to provide my ID. For committing a crime. No, but I'm no, you have no suspicion I that do. I've committed a crime, do you? You're about to commit a crime. That's you, part of the you're clause. You're saying it. Hold I on, am about on. to. That's what yes, you're saying. Yes, that's part of the clause. Okay. If you are committing a crime or about to commit a crime. Okay. Okay? Hang tight. <laughs> Hopefully they figure, get this figured out real quick. We got the clown squad out today. All right, you have a beautiful day. Is that right? No more threats, man? That wasn't a threat. No. Just throwing me in a cage wasn't a threat. Yeah, that's what a jail cell is. Show some more respect for the public next time. How about that, buddy? Do you know anybody with little man syndrome? Is this a made-up thing or is it real?